goes right in the slow cooker. And keep it real simple just the beaver meat the bone broth chopped garlic onions carrots and one shallot all go in there some cannellini beans Traditional chili beans, There's red kidneys right in there. So the beaver meat's been in the slow cooker for a good while now. It's time to start pulling meat off the bones so we can have a nice boneless chili. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to rake it off. You can see it's coming off nice and easy there from being in the slow cooker for the past three hours. And uh, I will get back to you when this is done. All right, time for this to go back in the chili pot. That is looking quite good, smelling quite good too. This is a tomato sauce that I made last season from the tomatoes out of our garden. Oh yeah, that smells wonderful. And that officially makes it a chili. shoulder and rib portion and the two haunches into the smoker. I'm smoking them on a blend of hickory and cherry. So it should be pretty good. Looks like it's smoking all right. Close that up and let it do its thing. It'll be about two hours in there. And with the tail under here, I haven't done anything yet. With the two ribeye backstrap portions, I've just done those with a real simple uh, crushed black pepper and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on there, and that's it. And then for the two flank steaks, or skirt steaks, I put those on some skewers and doused them in some oriental marinade, so hopefully those will be some teriyaki flank steaks right there. And, uh, those will be going on the grill in a little while. The smoker takes a lot longer than the grill, so it's going to be a little bit. This is the beaver tail sand skin. You throw it on the grill and crisp the skin off and then clean it. And there's a bone that runs right down the middle. You can still see the pattern there from the, the tail skin. Just want to throw that on the grill and give it a couple minutes. Hopefully I don't burn my camera. Definitely all 
off that. That's super good. It's like beaver bacon. Yeah. Hmm. Now, salt and black pepper were just right. Nothing else on that. Yeah, nothing else needed. Like bacon. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, she doesn't like it. It's good. Like, the flavor is good. It's got that fishy flavor. Is fucking awful. Awful. <laughs> that was, the that was the only thing I could say. If, if you're not, the texture would be the one thing. The texture is definitely very odd. It's like gelatinous almost, but it's fat, so it's kind of what I was expecting. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else, but it has that fishy flavor. I don't know. I thought it would be just like slightly meatier than that, a little less like you're eating a spoonful of fat. Yeah. Now, now I put the wing bits up on the top grill. Definitely looks like some chili. Pieces. Everybody got their fork? Exactly. 
exactly what it is. tell you, I don't think that the flank snake steak smells very good. I don't think it smells appetizing. Really? Whatever that smell is, I don't think I like it. Okay, but, I think I like it. <laughs> we're about to find out here. I'm going to cut right down the side. Get some nice, crispy, marinated pieces. That's just from where it was on the skewer all pressed together. It's definitely got like a nice interaction. You guys want to come give it a try? Time to pull the stuff out of the smoker. Yeah, just right there would be great. Perfect. It's been going at 250 for about three hours. Smells pretty smoky. Pull up hot. There's the rib section. See its rib section's butterflied open there. Shoulders are still on. That's where I think most of the meat's going to be on that is the shoulders. I don't think beaver ribs have much meat on them. And then here, these are the money makers. These are the smoked haunches. Cut those into ham strips, basically, I think. Oh, looks good. Buffalo beaver wings, smoked haunches, ribs, and shoulders, and then another tenderloin, flank steak, and grilled veggies. Right. 
juice. That was like right in the middle of it. It's still a nice hickory taste there.